Jordan, you're back in action Friday night at the Hydro. Um, Slovakian opponent, something different in your first overseas test. Yep, no, definitely, but you've got to uh, treat them all the same, Steve. So I'll just begin in there with the same game plan. Like everybody that you fight is dangerous, so uh, it'll not change much as to what I'm going to do on the night. I just know I'm going back to winning ways. <laughs> yeah, well, I'll come to that in a minute. Is there a danger you can overthink a fight like this? Because before you know who you're fighting, what they're likely to do. Mm -hmm. Oh no, aye, of course you can you can overthink it, but just just got to kind of strip everything back down and uh, just just focus on the job that's in hand. Yeah, you said there about winning ways. Um, you dare to step up against a very good fighter, John Doherty. Notice the next day he was out training. The very next day, did mm -hmm. you just forget about it the next morning? Aye, I just tried to tried to put it to the back of my mind and just keep training. Uh, push myself on. I knew that I was taking a, a massive gamble, but as everybody knows, I'm willing to take on any fight. So, uh, and I still will continue to take on big opportunities. So, I think it just shows that my character and stuff. But no, I definitely back to training and keep myself in shape so that I can take these opportunities. Are you the easiest fighter in the world to manage? Because Sam rings up and you just say how much and when. <laughs> ah, I could be high, high. No, but listen, it's first and foremost, it's staying in the gym and it's making the right choices as well. Maybe, maybe I did take that uh, on, knowing that I, I was a, a big underdog. But I always back myself. Listen, I know for a fact I'll get to that level. I'll get back up to that stage and I'll get and I'll I'll, I'll operate at that level, but. As, as I say, strip it back. I'm, I'm still a novice. I'm still a raw novice in this sport, so I'll just keep pushing on. I've noticed from looking at your social media, your trainer Jerry Higgins has taken yourself and David Jameson around the Britain sparring and yep. training. Tell us about the experiences first of all at the Peacock Gym. Peacock Gym, brilliant. It's, it was uh, it was honestly kind of thank uh, Martin enough for bring, taking us down there, and uh, uh, it was a good experience. Uh, Different down there in England, the, the, the way they spar and it's all technical and stuff. It was a, it was a good eye opener. But we get good rounds down there. We get used to the gym, top quality. It's it's the state of the art stuff. So, in there, and I know it was a, it was really good to see. And what fight you got a lot of publicity for was Tommy Fury. There was a lot of need in the build up. Mm -hmm. And Tommy Fury and yourself seem like best buddies now. And ah, I no, you, no, you but go to his gym and hang out with him. And so well, I was there. I was their sparring partner for the last show at Wembley. So uh, all his sparring was uh, was was with me. So it was good. And like I said, for them to keep asking you back, then I must be bringing something to the table. Well, I, I know definitely I was bringing something to the table because it was evenly matched. So. Uh, and then it obviously puts me on a scale because I seen where he was fighting, I seen his opponent, that was built as his, his toughest opponent. But I think I beg to differ with that. You know what I mean? I think, I think I'm maybe his toughest one. You know what I mean? That's why I'm back sparring with him. But no, listen, they're great guys. They welcomed me in. Like even Tyson, watching him spar, you pick up wee, wee bits and bobs when you're down there. You got on with Tommy. You say you're friends now, but is it a fight you'd like again? Cause it was close. It was close. I don't think that fight will happen again. Because seeing me fit, I know I'm dangerous against a levelled opponent. Somebody that I know that we're on level par with each other, it's, I'm, I'm dangerous. I'm dangerous for any opponent because I put everything in there. So, no, I don't, I don't think that's something that will happen. But listen, stay, stay friends, stay sparring, sparring partners and stuff, train together. Maybe I'll get in the Jake Paul training camp. <laughs> Maybe you get the call to fight Jake Paul. How about that? I know. I, 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 might, I might fight his brother. <laughs> fight, his brother fight both on the same uh, if, No, I if the money's right. <laughs> um, so you were at the Hydro this week. That's been a lot to you to be there again. No, definitely. Like I said, it's the Mecca, obviously Scottish boxing. It's well the Mecca uh, arenas for Scotland. So to box there again and obviously try and put right my wrongs and I can't wait to do it and obviously thanks to Fight Zone and Sam for putting me on this platform again and I'll get the win and then we can just push on and see where I go for there. You're a very popular boxer, you sell tickets so is Sam going to get you the Scottish light heavyweight title this year? Hopefully, hopefully. Listen, but I'll not look too far ahead. I, uh, obviously in boxing you want to pick up titles and you want to put some put something to your name so people can say oh Jordan done this or, or he done that and you, you, the whole the whole point of being in boxing is to win titles so it's obviously something that I'll look at but I'll just take it I'll get back to him just a level pace we'll, we'll see if the opportunity comes it comes but just focusing on winning winning each fight building myself back up